Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus, and this time we are looking into the Phoenix Hero Pack and what cards come in it. Uh, Phoenix comes with a pre-built Justice deck, so this will be quite ward heavy, I think, so let's get started. Okay, let's just jump into it. So, uh, first up we have Jean Grey. So, Jean Grey is a mutant and psionic created uh, alter ego side of Phoenix. Free recovery with an asterisk. Uh, so, set up, put your Phoenix Force uh, upgrade into play, restrain side phase up, place four power counters on it. And the asterisk reads after you make a basic recovery, place one power counter on Phoenix Force. Hand size is 6 and 9 hit points. Then uh, we have the hero side. So, uh, hero side is uh, Phoenix, 3, 4, oh, that's much uh, or a lot. Uh, 1 attack, 2 defense, uh, Psionic and Axeman traded, Psionic bond, hero resource. Remove one power counter from Phoenix Force, generate a wild resource with it once per phase, and hand size is 5 and hit points 9. So, what does the Phoenix Force do? Let's see that next. So, we have the upgrade. It is a permanent, so it, there's a dash for the cost. So, Phoenix Force has the restraint side. Uh, it reads permanent, you gain the restraint trade. Uh, restraint trade. Force response after the last power counter is removed from here. Flip this card, and this can't be committed because, but it just has the um, mental resource in it. Don't know why. <clears throat> then we have the upgrade uh, or the unleashed side of the Phoenix Force. It is permanent. Also, you gain the unleashed trade. Phoenix gets minus two toward and plus two attack. Uh, force response after power counter is placed here. If there are four or more power counters uh, here, flip this card and this can be committed. Well, it can't be committed because it's a permanent. I don't know why there are resources here. Maybe some card says that you can use uh, resources on your uh, existing upgrades. Or maybe there is one and I just can't remember. But it is what it is. Well, that is uh, Phoenix Force. So I think uh, Phoenix will balance with the uh, Restrained and Unleashed sides, uh, depending on the situation. Uh, next up we have the Signature Ally, which is Cyclops. Uh, Cyclops is 3 cost ally with 2 port and 2 attack X-Men traded. Uh, 3 hit points response after Cyclops enters play, plays 2 power counters on Phoenix Force. And forced interrupt when Cyclops leaves play, remove two power counters from uh, Phoenix Force, and this can be committed as a wild resource. So, again, with the balancing of the Phoenix Force, and uh, well, the two board and two attack seems really good. So, you just need to be mindful when you want to play this and when to take it out of play by defeating it or something like that. Next, we have a white. Hot room, it is a 2 cost support, location Phoenix, alter ego action, exhaust fight hot room, and choose, place one power counter of Phoenix Force, heal two or heal, heal two damage from Jean Grey, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So again, balancing with the power counters. Next up, 2 cost upgrade Phoenix Swift, uh, it is an item traded card, Phoenix gains the aerial trade, uh, while you are while you have the restraint trait, you get steady. While you have the unleashed trait, you gain retaliate one. So it's not all bad if you're in the unleashed side, but it might be bad. <laughs> okay. Next up, uh, Rise from the Ashes. It is a 3 cost upgrade. Phoenix trait at interrupt. When you would be defeated, remove this card from the game. Ready your identity and restore it to its printed hit points value instead. Remove each power counter from Phoenix Force, and this can be committed as an energy resource. So, this is a really powerful card. Of course, you need to be mindful that you will lose all the power counters and be on the unleashed side when you uh, regain your health. So, maybe just uh, push your luck until you're in the end game and then just go all out nuking with the Phoenix. 
Next up, uh, we have uh, Telekinetic Shield. It is a two cost upgrade. And uh, Sonic created attached to a friendly character. Post interrupt when an attached character would take any uh, take damage from an enemy attack. Place the, that dam damage here instead. Then, if there is at least five damage here, you start Telekinetic Shield. So, a really powerful card to keep your uh, ally in play for example if you want to keep uh, Cyclops in play for a really long time then that is a really good one next up we have mental paralysis it is a two cost upgrade psionic created hero form only attacks to a non-elite minion attacks minion cannot activate force response after you flip to alter ego form and discard this card so this is a really powerful card to stop a really nasty minion from doing anything and you can just basically ignore it uh, unless it has guard or something like that but yeah st strong card uh, next up we have even more stronger guard but it's also costly it is a four cost upgrade mind control condition psionic attached to a non-elite minion take control of attached minion and treat it as a controlled ally with a blank text text box it's toward this equal to its Printed scheme and it takes one consequential damage after it ports or attacks. And uh, this can be committed as a mental resource. So you can basically just take a really nasty ally and uh, use it as your puppet until it's defeated. Then uh, we have the event. So telekinetic attack. There are two copies of this. Uh, attack, sign created. Uh, hero action attack deal seven damage to an enemy if you have the unleashed trait uh, This attack deals two additional damage against overkill. So and this can be committed as a um, Physical resource so a really strong attack event With only three costs and then we have psych uh, psychic blast there are two copies of this psychic blast is a Two cost event, sign created, hero action, deal four damage to the villain. If you have the unleashed trait, deal four damage to each minion engaged with you. And this can be committed as a energy resource. So pretty powerful AOE uh, event if you are unleashed. Next we have telepathic trickery. It is a two cost event, sign for created, hero action for remove four threat from a scheme. If you have the unleashed trait, stun and confuse an enemy. This can be committed as a mental resource. So, all of these uh, events uh, key off of the unleashed side. So, you sometimes really want to go to unleashed. Next up, uh, we have Phoenix Firebird. There are two copies of this event. These are the last uh, uh, signature cards for Phoenix. Uh, it is a one cost event. Phoenix traded hero action choose. Remove one power counter from Phoenix Force. Ready Phoenix or place two power counters on Phoenix Force. Again, going with the Phoenix Force card. So a lot of this set, or nearly all of this set focuses around the Phoenix Force. So it's really interesting. And then let's look at the Justice cards that come in the Phoenix Hero Pack. So we have first off uh, Banshee. It is a focused ally. Uh, 4-2 with an Asterix and 2 attack, aerial X-Men traded, uh, 3 hit points, response after Banshee, towards or use a minion, and this can be committed as an energy resource. So, nothing really special, but I like to attack on a Justice ally, there are not that many of those. Next up we have Marvel Girl, it is a 3 cost ally with 2 sword and 1 attack with an Asterix, Sonic X-Men traded, 3 hit points, Interrupt when Mama Girl attacks a minion, remove X threat from the main scheme where X is that minion's printed scheme, and this can be committed as a mental resource. So, really, really good if you have high scheme enemies to attack. So, really liking that card in specific situations. Uh, next up, we have a new training card. It is, uh, uh, there are three copies of this. It is the mission training. It is a one cost upgrade, the training traded, attached to an X-Men ally, max one training upgrade per ally. Attached ally gets plus one sword and plus two hit points. 
and this can be committed as a mental uh, resource. So pretty good for if you want to keep your quoting allies around longer. Next up, uh, Psionic Manipulation, three copies of this. So Psionic Manipulation is a three cost event. Psionic Quote created, play only if your identity has the Psionic trait. Interrupt when the villain schemes. This activation removes threat instead of placing it. And this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So really powerful, for example, if you have to go to Alter Ego, so you can safely go there, but keep in mind you have to have the Psionic trait to play this. Uh, next up we have uh, Mutant Peacekeepers, there are three copies of this. Mutant Peacekeepers is a one cost event, for traded, play only if your identity has the X-Men trait, hero action or exhaust your hero and any number of X-Men allies, remove X threat from among schemes in play, where X is the total sword of those characters, and this can be committed as a physical resource. So, quite similar like the aggression, what it well, is it team up or something like that? But yeah, for justice and for removing threat. Uh, then we have a uh, swift retribution. I think this is a reprint, but we'll just read it out. Uh, so swift retribution is a one cost event. Attack created your action. Attack villain schemes deal for damage to the villain. And this can be committed as a mental resource. So I think this only has new art and there. This has uh, come up in. Uh, previous pack already. Next we have uh, Passion of Justice, a new resource card for Justice. Uh, max 2 per deck. Interrupt when you spend this card to play a fourth event. That event removes one additional threat and it has the wild resource icon. So really interesting. Next we get new basic allies or basic cards. Uh, so we have a uh, Storm. Uh, Storm is 5 cost ally with 2 quarts to attack, Asterix in the quart, Aerial X-Men traded, 3 hit points reduce the cost to play Storm by 1 if your identity has the mutant or X-Men traits. And the interrupt is uh, when Storm quarts a scheme to move 2 threat from that scheme to another scheme and this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So you can focus a big quoting event on a scheme by piling on threat on that. Next uh, we have Cerebro. So Cerebro is a one cost support, vocation, X-Men traded. They only if your identity has the mutant trait, alter ego action, exhaust Cerebro. Search the top five cards of your deck for an X-Men ally. Search your whole deck instead if you control a psionic character and add that ally into your hand. Shuffle. This can be committed as a mental resource. So pretty good for fetching out all of your uh, X-Men allies. Then we have the team up card for uh, Cyclops and Phoenix, so Psychic Rapport, uh, it is two cost event, team up Cyclops and Phoenix, max one per deck, hero action ready, Cyclops and Phoenix choose to either return a Cyclops card from your discard pile to your hand, or place two power counters on Phoenix force, and this can be committed as a energy resource. Okay. Then we have a reprint of Downtime with new art. Then we have the basic resources with the new art for the X-Men. And that is the pre-built Justice deck. So looking pretty good. Next up we look at the obligation. So we have the op uh, Phoenix's obligation, the Burning Hunger. Give to the Jean, Jean Grey player. When revealed, if you have the Unleashed trait, search the entire deck, discard pile, and set aside area for Dark Phoenix and reveal her, then remove Burning Hunger from the game. If you have the Restraint trait, remove one power counter from Phoenix Force and discard against search, discard this card. That is a really nasty obligation, because here is Dark Phoenix. So, Dark Phoenix is a minion. Uh, two scheme, two attack, not bad yet. Cosmic entity and elite traded, 12 whopping hit points. So that is a lot. Steady, toughness, villainous. So this is the worst uh, uh, nemesis there is so far. 
Uh, when Dark Phoenix beams place that threat to consume the world if able. Well, we'll so soon see if that's bad or not. When revealed, search encounter deck, discard file, and set aside area for consume the world and reveal it. Okay, here is consume the world. So, uh, it is a side scheme, permanent, so it can't leave pay anymore. Uh, while there is no threat here, this scheme loses the uh, boost icon plus icon. I can't remember the name for it. Uh, force response after threat is placed here. If there is at least 12 threat here, players lose the game. So, Phoenix, Dark Phoenix consumes the world. It comes into play with 6 threat on it and has 3 boost items. So, this is nasty. You don't want to see this come into play. And the last three cards are Fury Rage. There are three copies of this, and it is Peril, so nobody can help you to resolve it. Uh, when revealed, if Dark Phoenix is in play, she activates against you. If Dark Phoenix is not in play, place one threat on, the, on Consume the World, and this card gets search. So, and this has two boost icons, so this is the worst uh, Nemesis deck there is so far. And you really don't want to see uh, Shadows of the Past when you're playing Phoenix. Let's look at the rest of the um, aspect cards that come in the Phoenix Hero Pack. So, first off, we have the Aggression card, uh, Psychic Assault, three copies of this. Uh, it is a two cost event, attack, Psychic Traded, play only if your identity has Psychic Traded, hero action, attack, deal three damage to an enemy, or use that enemy. So, a decent uh, attack event. You can confuse an enemy and then go to Alter Ego to heal, for example. Like, hit hit the villain and go to Alter Ego. That's, that's actually a really good card for aggression. You don't usually want to go to Alter Ego with aggression, but with this it's safer. Next up we have the Psychic Misdirection. Three copies of this. It has it is two cost event. Defense, psychic traded. Play only if your identity has the psychic trait. Hero interrupt. Defense when an enemy attacks you. Choose a different enemy. Damage from that attack is dealt to the chosen enemy instead of you. This can be committed as uh, energy resource. So, uh, for example, for those scenarios with multiple villains, this is really good. Or, or if if it's a really minion heavy deck, uh, encounter deck, this is. Um, Powerful gar car in those scenarios. Next, we have a Psychic Kicker, three copies of this. Uh, it is a zero cost uh, leadership event. Psionic, play only if your identity has the Psionic trait. Hero action, ready, an ally. That ally gets plus two sword, plus two attack for its next basic sword or attack action this phase. So, really powerful if you are boosting up an ally and you want to activate it twice per turn. Lastly, we have Soul Sisters. This is a team up card for Phoenix and Storm. There are actually two copies of this, so I bet there won't be this card in the Storm Hero Pack. So, Soul Sisters is a one cost event team up. Phoenix and Storm. Max one per deck. Hero action ready. Phoenix and Storm deal two damage from each of them. And this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So, that is everything that comes in the Phoenix Hero Pack. Really strong, strong hero pack altogether. So I think I will sleeve up this play again with it against a scenario from the Mutant Genesis uh, expansion. Don't know which scenario yet, but look forward to that play. And hope you guys like this uh, hero pack focus. Thanks for watching, and until next time.